start to raise your eyebrows a little bit. All right, we're joined by uh, Josh Cameron, wide receiver from Walk On to Scholarship, <laughs> and your mom, Andrea. Andrea, she watches and, and is a follower mm-hmm. of our show. Mm-hmm. What was that like to get that opportunity and take advantage of it? Oh man, it's I'm just I'm just really grateful, honestly. Um, for really just getting the opportunity uh, as is. Uh, I just felt something was like truly different here at Baylor. Um, just when I was looking at my options uh, coming here, and uh, one 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 being just the faith aspect, just how it was just at the forefront, and then just the uh, just the vibe I felt from Coach Aranda and the energy he was giving me. Um, I just felt it was different because um, uh, being at a walk on, there's like kind of a stereotype where you're just there a walk on, like you're not really looked at and things of that nature. But here, I just felt like I they will really just give me a chance to really show who I am and be able to earn earned that so i'm just i'm just honestly thankful josh um how do you feel about the wide receiver core in its current state this year last year it was a position that struggled to find its leader and it's kind of a a main guy so how do you feel about the way that you've added to that depth uh i think i think um compared to last year uh we've just been we've just been taking that step forward uh basically maturing um last year we were some of the youngest on the team now were the older guys on the team uh, as a wide receiver core. And I've, I've really just seen the uh, growth and maturity levels uh, just from everyone just kind of take a step up and them realizing the position that we're in. Um, and with that, I think um, we have playmakers uh, everywhere. You got Monterey, Keytron, uh, Monty, you can uh, how you can just name, you can just keep naming people off um, as you uh, go. And so I think that's like the main difference. Uh, us just really taking on that, uh, veteran type kind of role as a recorder. How, how does how did Keytron kind of come in and, and establish himself and, and gel with you guys? Uh, you know, to the point where there's a lot of people expecting him to come in and have a big year. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, no, he 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 fits the room perfectly. Honestly, uh, he came in um, basically hungry. Uh, he came in not wanting anything given to him. He uh, he came in wanting to uh, earn everything, and that's that's just what he's been doing. Like uh, he's his routes are amazing. Uh, uh, his speed's amazing. Like he can, he can do anything. I think he's just a huge addition to the offense for sure. In in in, in reality, there was the need for somebody to step up at wide receiver. Tyquan left. RJ he was in the NFL. RJ transferred, and and it kind of seemed to be a struggle. What was that like to be a part of that position group when they were wanting somebody, and you at times were the person to step up and take and grab onto that opportunity? Um, I think I think it was just a great. Kind of a great uh, realization um, for the other guys and me, myself included. I think uh, it just kind of gave us a little kind of nudge and just kind of brought something out of us to be be able to like kind of fill those roles. Uh, like you said, Taekwon, just watching him and just what he did here. I mean, that was just a great role model. Just kind of not wanting to repeat that or be just like him, but just kind of find your own kind of beat and be uh, – be be me or be be how or just be uh find, figure out a way just to kind of be yourself uh in your own unique way what's it like to be here uh you know i, I think it's uh you know a pretty cool honor that mm-hmm. you know you were selected to be one of the representatives here so mm-hmm. what were your thoughts when you were told about it and you feel comfortable being here kind of you know mingling throughout the room what have mm-hmm. you thought so far oh man i'm just it's it's awesome just being here at Cowboy Stadium, I'm just super excited, and like you said, it's just it's it's a true honor, honestly, being able to represent uh me and then uh Baylor, of course, um, and then just kind of having that respect and um for my teammates and coaches. I mean, there's there's just no greater feeling, and like you said, I'm just I'm just truly honored to be here for sure. All right, your mom just jumped into our chat room. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, hey mom, <laughs> what's up, mom? Ask him about Otis and Yoshi. Oh yeah, I got two. <laughs> I got two pet birds, Otis and Yoshi. Wow. Yeah, I got them. Uh, I got Otis when I uh, first got here, and then I got Yoshi last year. So, yeah, those are my two pet birds, Otis and Yoshi. Have they ever gotten loose? Uh, they. There was one incident with Otis where he tried to get loose, but no, it was, it was all good. I, I got him back in the end. So, so what is that something that was always of interest to you rather than a dog or a cat? Or, um, or- well, like. Well, I grew up, we didn't really have pets because my mom, she had like allergies and stuff like that. Oh, and then okay. coming to college, I was like, uh, you know, a bird sounds interesting. So I just did a whole bunch of research and stuff like that. And then after that, um, that's like, that's when I just made the decision to go ahead and get that. 
Your mom said hi. Hi, baby. That's <laughs> that's that's from your mom right there in the chat room. Hey, Josh hey. Cameron, Baylor wide receiver with us on 365 Sports. Close to everything picking up and starting. You've been doing the summer stuff. Uh, when everything begins, why should anyone expect anything differently from the offense? Um, you know what I'm saying? We've just come with a kind of different mindset. Um, uh, really, like I said, coming from the receiver room, um, kind of us wanting to basically like step up and make 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 us our role known uh, more in the offense. So I think with that uh, uh, coming from us uh, as receivers, I think that would be like a huge step up uh, and was like receiver play and just making like deep threats and uh, things of that nature. What have you seen differently from Coach Aranda? I mean, he spoke about how, you know, they probably should have attacked the transfer portal a little bit harder uh, last year, but he wanted to give guys like yourself uh, opportunities. Um, He should have been harder on guys or, you know, been more final in certain punishments with guys. And we just talked to TJ about that. Uh, He's talked about taking on the role of a leader. How about yourself as far as taking on that leadership role? And just what have you seen from Coach Aranda in terms of him changing for the better from from a year ago? Mm -hmm. Uh, So for – my goal this spring was, uh, like you said, was definitely stepping up when it comes to leadership. I was just uh, basically trying to get out of my comfort zone, be more vocal, do things like that, and uh, basically establish myself and let it be known that I want to be a leader on this team. And uh, uh, as for Coach Aranda, you know what I'm saying, this offseason, um, he's still uh, at the forefront, person over player. is still the main thing that we see um, uh, from his philosophy, but he's added on to that with uh, no struggle, no swag, um, teamwork makes the dream work, and then step up or step aside. Those being the main like three sayings uh, moving on into this season. And um, I wouldn't say there's like a huge change with Coach Aranda. He's still the same old like here. He's not really like a wave. It's the same constant mm-hmm, right. Coach Aranda that you'll see. And um, I think going into the season with those three models, I think we can definitely – definitely make something happen. It is great to have you on with us. We appreciate your time. The story from where you were as a walk-on to where you are now as a part of that group, the receiving core that that, that obviously uh, Blake Shapin will rely on along with the tight ends, and you got to have the protection too. Thanks exactly. for your time. Glad to see you here. Yes, great sir, yes, smile. <laughs> tremendous personality. Thank you, thank and good you. luck. Thanks, Josh. Sure. Josh Cameron, Baylor wide receiver with us on 365 Sports. Thanks, man. Great